This lesson is all about the brush tool. The brush tool can be used in so many different ways. For example, you can draw or paint with it as if you were painting on a canvas. And actually, you can create some amazing pieces of digital art with it. You can also use the brushes just like you would as a stamp. You can use them to add texture and detail to your designs. So they're very versatile. First of all, let's locate the brush tool. Over in your tool panel, locate the icon that looks like a paintbrush. If that's not there, just simply right click and here you will see brush tool or B on your keyboard. Next, go and choose a color. Your color picker will appear and again, you can just choose a color that you like. Hit OK. Next, I like to create a new layer, so I'm not working on my background. New layer here. And then simply you can just draw onto your canvas. So that is a very basic way of using the brush tool. I'm just going to delete that now. Next, I'm going to show you how to install a brush and use it. In this course, we have included a free design kit and I'm just going to locate that now. So I have my window panel open and within the kit, we've included some peach floral brushes. So simply double click on this and your brushes will be automatically installed onto Photoshop. Doesn't look like anything's happened, but I will show you how to locate them. So I'll just make that full screen again. Okay, so make sure you have your brush tool selected. And here at the top, this is where you can choose the type of brush you want to use. So I'm going to click to open this and right down at the bottom, you will see all your floral brushes have been installed into Photoshop. So I'm just going to select these gray leaves first. Now I'm going to hover over onto my canvas and you can see a preview of how the brush will look. First, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to change the color. Stamp your brush onto your canvas. You can see now that you have an image. You can then use your move tool to move this image around. Okay, so I'm going to show you some other options now. I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to locate my brush tool again and I'm going to change my brush. I'll select these leaves and hovering over your canvas, you can preview how your leaves will look. You can also change the direction by using this or you can change the size. You can make it a lot smaller or a lot larger. Now, as you can see, it's quite fiddly using this size slider here. So I'm going to show you a shortcut. If you hit enter on your keyboard, it will take you out of this menu. Now locate your square bracket keys on your keyboard and using the right bracket, you can see that your brush will enlarge in. If you hit your left bracket, it will make your brush smaller. Now you can also choose the color as well. Let's go for some blue leaves and hit OK. Next, create a new layer and then you can stamp your image. Your brush will appear like so. Now, just a note as well, I'm going to create another layer and another brush color. Let's do some green leaves. If you were to stamp on the edge of your canvas, like so, when you go to move it around, your image will be clipped. So just watch out and be careful of that. I'm going to delete that one. You can also edit this image now that you have stamped it. So to do that, bring up your transform box. You can do this by hitting Control or Command T on your keyboard and your box will appear. And holding down the shift key, you can make your stamped image larger or smaller. When you're done, hit the tick. So brushes are fantastic. You have so many different options and variations because you can change the color and you can create so many different patterns and add details to your designs. We will be using brushes later on in our projects. So I recommend installing the brushes that are included in the kit.